Hey, what's up? I'm your host, Christian Patterson, here to bring you this week's edition of TV20's Inside Sports Report. The Cleveland Indians hosted their seventh annual Dream Day Clinic for 60 participants from Our Lady of the Wayside and the Upside of Downs. Volunteer coaches from Diamond Boys Baseball Club helped run the clinic, letting participants hit, feel, and throw the baseball. So today is our eighth annual Cleveland Indians Dream Day event. Uh, we started in 2012. Uh, this is kind of our, uh, our key event on the year. We've done over 150 specialized events in that time, but obviously it's the biggest event and, and the one that we're most excited about every single year. We have two organizations here with us today, um, Our Lady of the Wayside and then Upside of Downs, uh, and both organizations are participating uh, in this fun baseball clinic uh, that's being put on um, called Dream Day, where everyone kind of gets to come to Progressive Field uh, and they get to take part in uh, baseball activities just like uh, our major league team does. So um, usually it's on the field, but today because of the weather we brought them all inside uh, and gave them kind of a different uh, behind the scenes experience where they get to come into the batting cages that are right next to our major league clubhouse here. Uh, you know, and it's a really cool event because they're down here now, uh, five hours from now. Uh, our major league roster is going to be in the same batting cage just doing the exact same thing. Half of our group uh, at a time is in here we're learning different hitting and throwing skills, some fielding, and then the other half is on a tour of the stadium. So we were able to adapt even though the weather didn't cooperate today. Well, it's really fun is most years we have brand new groups. There's some returning people that come back and they're always so excited, they talk about it all year. But that's really what it's about. Baseball is one of those games and parts of life that is just brings joy to everybody that wants to participate in it. And it was creating an opportunity that just was not available before we started this event. So for us, just to be uh, partnered and included uh, is really great. And it's, uh, you know, you look around and this is what baseball is meant to be, right? Uh, fun, everyone's supposed to have fun, uh, smiles on their faces. Uh, and, you know, something from our uh, community engagement side of thing, like, this is what we love to see. You know, our goal is to broaden the reach of baseball. Everyone has the opportunity to uh, take part in baseball. It's really easy to pick up a bat or pick up a glove and just play catch. Uh, and I think that's the great thing about this event is you really see that. Um, everyone's being able to uh, take a part in it uh, and have some fun. So to see about our organization, Dream Days, you can go to our website at dreamdaysohio.org. The Greater Cleveland Sports Commission hosted their sixth annual distribution day for kids from the City of Cleveland Recreation Centers, their Youth Education Through Sports program. So this is the sixth summer for the event. It's our Earn a Bike program with the City of Cleveland Recreation Centers. Um, after this summer, we'll have given out about 830 bicycles, locks, helmets, and safety instruction to area kids from the City Rec Centers. And they completed a two-week workbook based on the lessons they learned at their field day, which was held in June. And then the top 150 scorers were invited out today to receive their bicycle kits, their helmets, locks, and safety instruction for the day. It's amazing that the Greater Cleveland Sports Commission is able to give away so many bikes each year to deserving kids in the community. I'm so happy because all my other bikes, they just got flat or the chain popped off. And my auntie said she go buy me a bike, but now she don't got to spend her money. Well, I work with a population that's, that's um, where their families doesn't have a lot of money. You know, they are able to get uh, free things such as uh, bikes like this. Um, a lot of our students are very happy with it because it keeps them in shape, uh, gives them something to do throughout the summer times, and um, it's one of the many of the uh, activities that the city has to offer, which they enjoy and I enjoy being part of. They're really nice bikes. It's really nice weather. You get to enjoy the day, uh, make some new friends maybe even. There's really nice people here too. You just have a really good time. Each child received a bike, a helmet, and a lock, and their seats were fitted for their height. Once they got fitted, it was time to hit the bike safety rodeo course. We wanted to give them a chance to practice riding on their new bikes before we send them out to do it in uh, their neighborhoods. And so um, they're practicing starting and stopping. They're practicing learning how to signal to cars behind them um, where they're going. They're also practicing going side to side in case they need to dodge potholes or anything like that. And then um, just really getting comfortable on their new bikes. In the long run, it gives them a sense of pride. It gives them 
uh, a sense that people care about them, uh, even though we live in a world that may not reflect that often. Uh, and activities like this throughout the year reinforces that. Our goal is to make sure that they're able to get to the rec centers in the summertime, to get to school during the fall or the spring, just really showing that it can kind of be a mode of transportation, as well as fun with their friends, going to the pool, going to the park, things like that, but really making sure that they work to earn those bikes as, bikes as well. It's not something that we're just giving away, but they really had to go through and take the time to learn the education behind the bikes and kind of what it can do to help them succeed in the summer. We're going to take a quick break, but we'll be right back with more of TV20's Inside Sports Report. Celebrate sobriety by walking or running Sunday morning, September 15th at Edgewater Park. It's the annual Celebrating Recovery 5K Run and One Mile Walk. The event is free for walkers, $25 for runners. Get there at 7.30 that morning for registration. The walk starts at 8.45 and the 5K begins at 9 a.m. This wonderful event is brought to you by the Greater Cleveland Drug Court of Cleveland Municipal Court and is supported by all the agencies fighting the battle of addiction. So please join me, Judge Lauren C. Moore, on Sunday, September 15th at Edgewater Park to celebrate those who have taken the steps to be clean, sober, and productive members of society again. Get more information and register online right now at cmcoh.org. Online registration closes on September 13th at 9 a.m. And all participants registered by Friday, September 6th will receive a Recovery 5K t-shirt. Welcome back to TV20's Inside Sports Report. I'm your host, Christian Patterson. Thousands of excited fans finally got to see our new Cleveland Browns roster for the first time together at First Energy Stadium. With so much new talent on this roster, this annual Orange and Brown scrimmage was highly anticipated. is unreal. You can feel it. Uh, just people are excited to have football back here. Uh, and the excitement's justified, so now we got to go make it right for them. I understand the passion that these fans have, and they demonstrated every opportunity they have to do that. And this is no, no different. And uh, this was an opportunity for them to come out, show their support, show their excitement. Uh, it feels good to be back here. You know, anytime you step on this field, it needs to be a different type of energy. Um, and we felt that today. I thought these guys did a great job of uh, staying in the moment and competing. You know, we, uh, we were sloppy at times and all that, but let me tell you, this group that we've got, they're going to compete. And if we'll compete on every day and every snap, we'll have a chance. We're taking a step in the right direction each day, um, which, is, which is the key. Uh, you know, we'll be ready come week one, but no, we're not satisfied yet. I mean, we got to continue to work. You know, today was a good showing of once you get in front of the fans, once you get in the stadium, uh, you got to be able to block that out and, and execute. So we'll go back and watch this tape. Uh, and you know, it's never as good as it seems and never as bad. So we got to continue to work and uh, be game ready by September. I like it when a team cares about each other. All right. I like it when a team competes against the other very, very hard, and then they can pick each other up and pat each other on the tail and do it again the next play. We're not totally there yet, but we're going to get there. And I think these guys are committed to getting there. And if we get there, we'll have a chance, but that only just gives us a chance. That's all it does. And uh, I think these guys are going to do that. They're committed to doing that. Uh, they've done nothing but work their tail off, done everything we've asked them to do, uh, and I expect it to continue. And we're going to hold them accountable, but what I want to get to eventually is them to hold themselves accountable to each other. Uh, and then we will have something. But we're headed in that direction. I'm not satisfied, 
and I'm happy up to this point, but again, we're only a week and a half into this thing. Thanks for watching the Inside Sports Report. If you would like to catch past episodes of the Inside Sports Report, Classic Sports, or any city championship games, head over to our TV20 YouTube channel and click on subscribe.